this for you this month. We're bringing you the GCH Guitar Academy. Now, if you've ever wanted to learn to play a guitar, now's the time to do it because this program will help you learn. Before you start to play a guitar, of course, you'll need to tune it and the guitar tuner will help you do that. Once you launch this little program, you get a choice of either acoustic guitar or electric guitar. And then all you'll do is just hit the notes here with your mouse and then strum them with your finger on your guitar and tune each string appropriately. Let's just listen to what happens. As you can see, every time I click one of these notes with my mouse, I'll hear the note played. Now if I want to do that on a sort of more long-term basis, if I want to hear the, the tone so that I can continue to, to try and tune my guitar, you can select this tone option and now when I hit the letter E, it's going to continue to play until I ask it to stop. So that option might be better if you want to fiddle with your guitar string at the same time as listening to the tone. Now once you've got your guitar tuned, you're ready to go ahead and learn to play it. When you launch the Guitar Academy course, the first thing that you'll be able to do is to select a guitar and learn more about the kind of guitar you have. Now I have a classical guitar, so I'm going to select classical. Here's some information about my guitar and I can also click here to learn about the part names so I can learn where everything is on my guitar. I can also learn a bit about other guitars if I'm interested in an electric guitar. I can click here to learn more about it. Before you start the course, you want to go through the basics and this will teach you not only how to use the program, but also how to understand the fingering and various other aspects of the program that are used. The utilities will introduce you to the guitar tuner, which you've already seen, and the metronome. There's also a backing track player that we'll have a look at shortly. Now the works of the program is really in the lessons, so you'll click here to start the lessons and here you can read about months 1 to 3 all the way through to 10 to 12. Now the months that we've given you are months 1 to 3, so let's start with month 1. There are 9 pages to this month and the first 4 relate to the first week, as you can see we're on week 1 now. We're going to learn how to hold the guitar, how to hold a plectrum, and then on the next page we're going to learn how to strum the guitar, depending on which kind of guitar you've got. The process is slightly different. Now it's time to learn to play a chord. And here we're entering into some chord exercises. Now when you hold your mouse over a chord and it lights up in yellow, that means you can play it by just clicking on it. Let's have a listen to A minor. And C. So you can play these chords as you play them on your guitars, so you can hear what they're supposed to sound like. You can also hear this chord exercise played, that's C, A minor, C, A minor, C, G7, C and A minor, if you click this button here. I won't do it right now, but you can do that. Now with the program comes a metronome, and the program suggests that you practice by using the metronome in 4-4 time at 40 BPM, which is beats per minute. To do this, you'll launch the metronome tool and now you can set the metronome at 4-4 time and let's drag it around to 40 beats per minute and you can listen to the metronome play. The metronome will help you keep time and it goes up to obviously 160 beats per minute. You want to start at a low value and then increase the value as you become more proficient. I'm going to close the metronome for now. Continue through the program every so often you'll find that there's actually a song to play. In this case it's Hey Jude by the Beatles. Now not only can you hear this song being played at 70 beats per minute, but you can also use the backing tape once you become fairly proficient in playing this, you can use the backing track to play along with. Let's see how this works. I'm going to click the backings button here to open the backings tool. And here's the backings player and here's the tune Hey Jude. So when I'm ready to start playing, I can just click the play button and the backing track will play and allow me to play along with it. There's a couple of beats before you start and then you'll start into the song. There are backing tracks here for everything that you need for the first two months worth of lessons. 
also find that the program contains a small video for each month. So this would be the video if I click here for the first month. The video will give you some additional helpful information. In this month it shows you some tricks about placing your thumb and so enabling you to reach to make some of the chords that might be difficult to play. You can click to play the video and play it at any time that you like and play it over again at a later date if you want to refresh your mind about things. Let's go back to the main menu. The program also includes some information about chords. The designer of the program introduces you to chord theory which shows you how the chords are created and then there is information about open chords, half bars and bar chords. There are also scales that you can play to practice. Let's go into the scales area and you'll see some information on reading and playing scales and there's, then there's a scales chart that you can use to familiarize yourself with the scales. As this one lights up yellow when my mouse is over the top of it, if I click it I can hear the sound of that scale being played. from this fingering chart I can learn how to play that scale. As you'll see the program is really quite detailed. There's plenty of information here to keep you busy at least for a couple of months in learning some of the basics of playing a guitar.